queue next to her name because she's sixth fastest um, with two touches. So the yeah. rest the rest of the field will be a little bit nervous that she's managed to uh, to get through with, with two touches and still be super fast. That's right. And here we have Marjolaine de la Sue from France oh, who heck. has had some... F oh, shoot. Yeah, that was a bit tight. They'll review it. It was very, very close, but I, as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, that's, that's problematic. Yeah. For she, Marjorie. That's really upsetting to see because she has the potential here. On a course like this, she's she well was good suited yesterday. For it. She's she very was good yesterday, very good in the qualifiers. She had the fastest time, I believe, but two touches. She was amazing. Her qualifying time yesterday uh, was, was the fastest raw time by a long way. Mm -hmm. And she had two touches, but still managed to. Uh, to be in the top five qualifiers, so of course the Delasu name we're not uh, we're not unfamiliar with it, especially at the U23 World Championships this year. Her brother and her sister, yep, having some incredible results there. Yep, yep. and of course uh, Marjorie will be eyeing off a chance to represent France at the Paris Olympics next year. It'll be super hot content. I've got to stop saying super. It'll be really hot competition between uh, a really packed field of French paddlers. Yeah. men and women trying to get on that team to compete in front of a home crowd. Yeah, we definitely are seeing the French uh, not step up their level, but really come back into form after uh, maybe not so many good years of, of U23 well, this year. Yeah. They had some really good oh, results in Marjorie's, Marjorie. unfortunately. Yeah, yeah that is... Uh, her raw time's going to be good, but uh, that 50 at the top, they're still reviewing it, but uh, it looked it looked tight. Let's see her reaction when she sees it. 